Do you wish to know which motherboard you should buy to pair with your new Ryzen 7000 series CPU? In this video, I will explain the difference between X670E, also known as X670 Extreme, the regular X670, B650E and B650, as well as recommend you the right motherboard for your particular Ryzen processor and use case. But before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Let's start with recommendations based on the processor tier. In this generation, Ryzen 5 7600X is the lowest tier processor within the Ryzen 7000 family. It comes with a modest 105 Watt TDP and consumes about the same amount of power as the previous generation Ryzen 7 5800X, which means that you need a good power delivery system even on the cheapest motherboards. Thankfully, ASRock, along with most other manufacturers, decided to go a step further and just make all their motherboards, including the cheapest ones, good enough to accommodate even the most power-demanding Ryzen 9 7950X processors. Here's what I mean. This is the cheapest ASRock motherboard, B650M PG Riptide, which you can buy for around $170. It has 8 plus 4 pin CPU power connection, a good 12 plus 2 plus 1 phase power design, and a large VRM heatsink to keep things cool. This motherboard is built with Ryzen 9 7950X in mind, even though it is one of the cheapest 600 series AMD motherboards currently available on the market. Basically, if you see a motherboard with an 8 plus 4 pin CPU power connector, then you can be pretty sure that it can handle any Ryzen 7000 series processors in terms of power delivery. That includes all currently available ASRock motherboards, no exceptions. However, beware that some other manufacturers do have some B650 motherboards that are not a good fit for a powerful Ryzen 9, but are still ok for 7600X and 7700X processors. By the way, my Amazon affiliate links to all the motherboards featured in this video are in the description below. You can use them from any country if you wish to support the work I do on this channel. So, the decision between X670, X670E, B650 and B650E comes down to the features you need, and not the power delivery system in most cases. That is why it makes most sense to focus on features. B650 motherboards are the cheapest option. You should get a B650 if you are a gamer who uses mid-range graphics cards and has no plans to upgrade to a high-end model like the upcoming RTX 5090 or 5080 in the future, because all B650 motherboards do not support PCIe 5.0 graphics cards. PCIe 4.0 will remain very powerful for many years, so you will be ok using mid-range GPUs in the future. On the positive note, some B650 motherboards, like the ASRock B650 MPG Riptide, have an M.2 slot for one PCIe Gen 5 SSD, so you will still have access to super-fast storage when these SSDs become available. Beware that Gen 5 SSD feature is optional and can be not included on other B650 motherboards. Check before you buy. Of course, even though B650 is the most affordable option on AM5 platform, it still requires DDR5 memory as Ryzen 7000 CPUs do not support DDR4 at all, which makes the whole system more expensive than budget-conscious buyers are normally used to. FYI, AMD recommends pairing Ryzen 7000 processors with a DDR5-6000 memory, which currently starts at around $180 per kit. Also, there is a well-performing, cheaper option, DDR5-5200, which starts at around $150. So, keep that in mind when putting together a budget for a new Ryzen 7000-based PC. B650E motherboards are a bit more expensive, of course for a good reason. 
You should get a B650E motherboard if you are a gamer who wants to have access to the high performance PCIe 5.0 graphics cards as well as SSDs in the future. For example, ASRock B650E Steel Legend Wi-Fi costs around $270 and comes with all quality of life features such as Wi-Fi 6E, large VRM heatsinks, as well as a beefy M.2 cooler to keep operating temperatures low on that Gen 5 SSD. The Steel Legend is a perfect pair for any CPU all the way up to 7950X. X670 is a strange option. I don't see it becoming popular because it is kind of a high-end chipset made for people who want to build a workstation slash gaming PC and need more fast USB ports, as well as SATA and M.2 for storage expansion. But X670 does not make much sense because it does not have PCIe 5.0 slots for graphics cards while costing almost the same as X670E motherboards that come with PCIe 5.0 support for up to two graphics cards. So if you are shopping for a high-end motherboard at close to $300 or more to build your next PC, then I recommend skipping X670 completely and going straight to X670E. That way you don't need to worry about compatibility of future graphics cards for many years in advance. A well worth peace of mind in my opinion. ASRock X670E Pro RS is a good example of a quality motherboard at around $280 that comes with built-in Wi-Fi 6E and you can pair it with one PCIe 5.0 GPU. However, if you want to have two PCIe 5.0 GPUs in your system or simply a higher quality motherboard with extra features such as two USB 4 ports, high quality audio and Wi-Fi 6E included, then go for ASRock X670E Tai Chi at $500. Additionally, it has a robust 24 plus 2 plus 1 phase power design, which allows for extreme CPU overclocking. And if you need extra cooling for Gen 5 M.2 SSD, then Tai Chi has a great accessory, which comes in the box with the motherboard. It is a massive SSD cooler. Nice. I hope this clears up most of the questions you may have about the new AMD 600 series motherboards, but feel free to ask your question in the comments and I will do my best to answer it. If this video was helpful, then consider using my Amazon affiliate links in the description below to buy your motherboard or simply give this video a like. It was I, Vadim, until next time.